Hi there, this is Marissa, and today I have a Watch Me Digi Scrap video for you. In this one, I will actually be scrapbooking on my iPad, so I will talk a little bit about using Photoshop on the iPad if you're interested in that. Um, and just here at the beginning, if you do like this video and like to see more of them, it would be great if you would like this video and then subscribe to my channel down below. That just lets me know that I should keep making them, and it's a great help. So the video has just been kind of going on here in the background and I'll be doing more or less the same thing for the whole video. So I will hopefully be able to explain to you kind of what's going on here. So I always create, uh, I start with a template in Photoshop on my computer and I add in the photos. And then I will save that and then open it up in the Photoshop here on my iPad, which looks different than the Photoshop on my computer. It's much simpler um, and it's a lot of fun to use on the iPad. The only thing missing here is uh, shadows. There are no layer styles. So when I'm done here on the iPad I will save it and then open it back up on my computer and add in those shadows which really only takes about a minute so it's not a big deal and I do really love just being able to sit and drag things around with my fingers. So so I find it a very relaxing thing to do in the evening. So I've just been opening up here on the on the menu over there on the left side. They have all the tool the toolbar, and there you can see I've just clicked on that uh, image icon, and then that lets me browse for the files that are on my iPad. And you can see here I have this kit that I downloaded from Pixel Scrapper, and I'm just choosing the elements as I go here. And so it's just, I just keep going back to that add graphic and then uh, find it on my iPad and I'm pulling it in here. And then the arrow there at the top of the menu on the left there is what will let you move things around. And then on the right side, I have my layers panel and I'm just adjusting things there so that the sequins are behind. So this video will go on for a little while longer. I will keep adding in elements here as you've seen me do. I will actually switch over to the second page of this spread um, and add elements to that side as well. So you can uh, hopefully get a feel here for what it's like to digital scrapbook on the iPad in the Photoshop app. If you have any questions, please let me know down below. I'd be happy to answer them. And again, thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more, please subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.